Hello everyone, welcome. So this is Nishal Makkar from Selling Skilled. I welcome all of you guys who are liking and subscribing and sharing my videos and uh, commenting uh, good stuff on that. So thank you very much for everything. So I know it's been a while since we guys had a, a session but I was just going through some personal stuff and that's why I am I was late and now I have came back and today I'm with you guys with one of the interesting feature of the get which is basically objects of the get so get as you know is one of the very interesting uh, code versioning tool which helps you to store data or code in in the cloud or basically servers which also allow you to manage your code with it or with all of its interesting feature and actually allow you to manage your code with branching commits uh, allows you to reverse back and much much more so that's uh, git but today we are not going to talk about git in much more detail except it's another uh, feature which is basically storing those data in the objects so now if you will see i am in the objects folder and you can see this has different folders here so let me tell you why these are the different folders here because with the whatever file system you have either in Mac or Windows or any of the other operating system it actually divides uh, your uh, data in different folders or subfolders so that it can be easily traversed managed and branched out with the git so in case of crash it is easily manageable as well so now we are interested in one of the folder which is pack you can see at the very end here so now I will do one of the git command here which is git log so git log uh, let me go back git log is showing you the different commits I have done over the time with time author and my comments or whatever I have mentioned here so this is a commit ID so this is one of the uh, very important object so now if you will see that I have I was able to do git log and see everything here without any problem but now when you have pack folder which is here but now I what I want to do is this pack folder I will rename to pack dot bk so pack underscore bk so now I can just see that it doesn't have pack folder anymore and it has been changed to pack underscore bk I will try to do another command which is git log which was successful last time now it's showing me error that it cannot read all other commits after this because this pack folder was actually referring to the those commit IDs which is now throwing error because it cannot find the pack folder here so now I can see when I rename it back like this which is move back pack underscore bk to pack again here i can see that git log is working fine again so basically what it means is it has this pack folder has all the objects which are actually going through which are actually showing the data of the commits and comments which you have committed out and that will be the actual data with which you are actually traversing to the gate or actually storing the data there so that's the object and if you'll see here there are two files only in this particular folder one is pack file and another is index file index file does nothing but it's useful because it helps to index this pack folder and also helps to traverse through it in a very fast fashion so now you can say that these both are relevant here now when I will do another command git verify hyphen pack hyphen p and the name of this pack file I can see there are multiple objects so you can see that this is either tree oh, sorry commit tree or blob so basically git has four objects commit tree and blob the fourth one is tag but that's not something mentioned here so let's learn about first three of them here so now you can see that similarly there is a index file which is also having blob tree and commit here 
so index is basically a reference so if i'll sh do this copy and do get cat hyphen file hyphen p sorry hyphen t and pass this it is showing me that this type of this is commit and if i'll do another thing hyphen p it is showing me that this is a tree and this is the parent of this commit and if i'll do another thing which is here this commit id then this one will actually show me get cat file hyphen p and the commit id it will show me the same thing here so index is giving you the index here the basic reference but this actual get uh, commit is showing you what it is there in the commit like author and then whatever the comment was there then it is actually having a tree so it is actually stored in a tree or reference to a tree here so i'll do git cat hyphen file hyphen t and this particular id so it is again showing me the type of this particular id so a particular object sorry uh, so basically tree now this object id of this particular tree i'll show what is inside it so it is referring to different files here right so different folders here i'm sorry so different folders or different files in this case so if you will see if it is a file here then this particular readme is a blob so either it can refer to a blob or tree but at the end this particular tree will, will also if you will see this particular tree which i just picked is this is a tree right now if i'll just show here the content that it is referring to so it is all blob so if it is a file here it is a blob if it is a folder it is again a tree and referring to multiple blobs again so if you will see understand the architecture it is like a commit this is my commit let's say very first one right this particular one is a commit then this is a tree which it is referring to and the tree again is referring to a file which is actually a, the data the actual data is in the blob and each of them is being represented by seven digit id which is the first seven digit of this particular object id as mentioned here so this is how the data is stored with the objects also you can see what we were seeing here is like this is the tree right so this tree if you will do get show and the tree I object id it will show all the folders only so you can say that tree always contain the directory structure and if you will see the commit here commit id get show this one this always contains the difference of new and old so whatever is removed or added is being shown here not the full file but if you will see the whole file if you want to see the whole file you open the blob that's how you see the whole file here so this is the way git store its data then there is tag which you can create just to refer to a commit if you want to go back to a commit you can create a tag and it is just a pointer to any of your commit id so that is the fourth object but these three are actually important where they are storing the data like this so now if you will see here this particular object id if i'll do a show here so this particular object id which i picked right it was picked from the tree right so this one is basically referring to this particular tree object id and now if i'll do a show here so this is exactly the same so that's how you have different object ids here right now with the tree only or with the blob only you can see these object ids because they are referring to some other objects for example this one this blob is referring to this blob so they are connected right so this one is connected to this one right so if i'll do this get cat uh, sorry let me write it again for you get cat hyphen file hyphen p putting out the content of this one so this is the file here right 
and my type for this one is of course because it is in the file it is the blob right now if i'll show you another one which it is referring to this one right now if i'll see the type of it here is again blob so this blob is again referring to this blob and show the content and is actually referring to other one and sorry i'll show you the what this blob contains inside it sorry hyphen t so this is also a blob again here so that's how these two can be interconnected so now this was all about the four objects and how the data is stored in the git so that's how you actually manage them in the data in the git so that was all about the today's session and i'll sign off but please don't forget to share and subscribe and like and also we are coming up with new selenium tutorials which will help you to not only learn automation but also to design test automation frameworks of your own with java and selenium uh, it could help you to learn about page object models as well as well as data and tree word and hybrid approach and much much more coming up uh, every week there is there are going to be seven lectures every week and you will learn a lot and if you are inspiring and aspiring to be a automation developer or automation tester you are good to go after learning from these tutorials and they are just meant for you in hindi without any language barriers so don't forget to share and subscribe and like this and we will come up with selenium tutorials very soon so thank you so much and have a good one bye bye